tarot cards, a reading. Hmm. They do. God bless your friends. Thank you for joining me on this Thursday morning. This is yours truly, Pastor Nate. And as always, it is my absolute pleasure when I can come and speak with you. I pray this video finds you well. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead right now and make that decision. It won't cost you a dime. It'll do you good. Besides, we'd be glad to have you part of the Smart Family. Friend, What's all this talk about tarot reading and reading the cards and going and getting a reading? There is a YouTuber out here, and I won't call her name, uh, but anyway, she's doing uh, readings for people. Friend, let me tell you, we got to be very careful when we start dibbling and dabbling in that world. Uh, that is a demonic world. I don't know how else to put it. Uh, I have no problem with this YouTuber, but I'm here to tell you the truth. Be careful, especially over the reading and you're saying something about God and you're trying to quote the word of God. Friend, don't mix that up. I'm telling you, that is a dangerous thing to play with. This is scripture. And one particular scripture that came to my mind is in 1 Samuel 28 and 7, when Saul couldn't hear from God because, you know, God had departed from Saul. The Spirit of the Lord departed from Saul because of his disobedience. But Saul inquired of a medium. Mm -hmm. Like many of you doing now, you go in and try to get a reading to see what your future looks like. Friend, that's very dangerous. So Saul went to this medium. Many of, of you refer to this medium as the witch of Endor. That's what the scripture says. And a medium is simply a person who channels communication between the spirit world and the earthly realm. It's kind of like the middleman that taps into the spirit world and feeds information to you. Many times these type of people, they tap into a demonic world. When you hear people saying, I'm, I'm talking to the dead, I hear your grandmother, I hear your mother, friend, all that stuff is demonic. I'm telling you, if you ain't hearing from God, it's demonic. In fact, I'm not going to a medium. I'm not going to a witch to seek a word for my life. I can get that from God. I can look in the word of God and see what God is saying. I do believe in prophecy. And I do believe in God using people and giving people a word of knowledge. In fact, he uses me in that area sometimes where you might tell somebody something that's going to happen or maybe you give a person a word of knowledge, something that has happened or going on in their life and no one has disclosed that information but the Spirit of God. Yes, I'd rather for you to uh, stir up that gift, but don't stir up the demonic world because you might bite on more than you can chew. So be careful with that because the demonic realm is real. I mean, we can look at the seven sons of Sceva, uh, what happened there. Jesus cast out demons. He didn't play with it. So we don't want to play around with that. Friend, get in God's face and pray and seek a word. God will speak to you. Yes, he will. It's rather interesting and strange that we can go and give our money to a medium for a reading from the demonic world. Oh, hear me, friend, and I'm close to my shield this morning. But when it's time to give money to the church or if a pastor asks for money, you'll say he's scamming and begging. Uh-oh. Oh, Lord. Mm -hmm. But we'll give money to the demonic world. Again, I'm just telling you the truth. Let me know your thoughts. You may not agree with me. Leave your comments. Leave your questions. 
If I need to do a live on this, whenever I'm able to do a live, I will go into this in depth. But friend, let me tell you something. Do not play with the demonic world. That world is real. And if you ain't ready for it, it will mess you up. I'm telling you, leave it alone. Tell the woman over there on a YouTube channel to stop it. Demons are real. Friend, till next time.